hello and uh, welcome to the new vlog. Um, it's a slightly different look today. I'm on my laptop, so let's hope this works. We're going to take a look at the deadly killer Sudoku from today's Saturday edition of the Times. Um, as usual, I'm just going to fill in um, the obvious boxes to start with, and we'll see what that gives us. And we can see immediately that the uh, 16 here, which can only be 7 and 9, uh, forces the 9 of the 23 box to be in the uh, bottom right hand 3x3. Three three. So let's, let's fill that in and also remove the 9 from these two positions. So we can now see uh, a couple of interesting things. Firstly, we've used all of the digits 6, 7, 8, and 9 in this 3x3 three three box that my cursor is in at the moment. Um, now we know those four digits add up to 30 uh, and we actually we can see that there is another box in this 3x3 three three box that adds up to 12 so that makes 42. So given that we know the whole 3x3 three three box has to add up to 45 we can immediately say that these other two cells in this 3x3 three three box have to be 1 and 2, which forces the 12 to take 3, 4, 5, as, as shown. And in fact, that leads to a number of quite interesting, um, interesting things. The, the key thing to realize is that the 24 box, which is made up of five cells that my, my cursor is highlighting now, we know that these three cells here, the top three cells in this 24 box, must add up to 21 because we've already got one and a two. And this severely restricts um, what, what's going on in this in this top three by three box and what can be contained in these two cells that I'm highlighting here. Because we can see that we've got an 18 and a 12 in this 3x3 three three box. Now that adds up to 30. So we know that these three cells here in column 7, these three cells must add up to 15. But we also know that these five cells add up to 8 plus 21, which is 29. So we know that 29 minus 15, these two cells have to add up to 14. And that is extremely limiting because you know, this cell is, is part of an 8. So let's think about how that might work. It can't be a 7 because this would also have to be a 7, which would uh, which can't, can't happen in these puzzles. It could be a 6, perhaps. It could be a 5, and these would have to be 8 and 9. It can't be, a thing, it'd be anything less, because otherwise you can't make 14 in two cells. So let's just look at that, though. If this was a 5 and a 6, this would be a 2 or a 3. Now, one of those is immediately ruled out, because column 7 cannot contain another 2. So in fact, this is a 3. This is a 5. This is a 9. And in fact, a whole, a whole more, load more things follow from this. Because now we know that these two cells, the only two cells left in this 24 box, have to add up to 12. But we can see that within this top right 3x3 three three box, there is already another 12. And there is a 3 in the box already. So we know that one of these 12s will be the 4, 8, and the other will be the 5, 7. Because the 3, 9 alternative, the 12 in two boxes, is impossible. But we also know that this 12 box here cannot be the one that contains the 5, 7, because there's already a 7 in column 9. So this has to be 4, 8 in some order. And this has to be the 5, 7, again, in some order. And let's just, I'll just fill these in as well. Um, and we can see um, some more interesting things fall out from, from the logic we've applied so far. 
Let's look at row 1, where we have we still to place a 9 in 3 cells without being allowed to use a 5 and a 3. And you can quickly check it, but, but it's, it's pretty clear that you can only do, do this with a 1, 2, 6. Because if you try and do it with a 4, you, you, can't, get, you can't get to 9 with the other available digits. So it has to contain a 6. And once it contains a 6, it has to contain a 1 and a 2. And that forces this cell here at the top of the 18 to be a 9. And that forces 9 to be removed from this cell here. And yet again, this is, this, you know, I, I don't know whether these puzzles are designed by computer or by, by hand. Um, but the chain of logic that's running through this puzzle suggests it has the feel of being done by hand to me, this one, just because um, every step is um, so linear. From, from the last, if you, if, you, if you get on the right track with it, you can immediately see the next step. And here, the next step for me is looking at this 7 box here. This 7 box can be a 1, 6 or could be a 3, 4. But we can see with a, a little bit of scrutiny, it can't be a 1, 6. Because if it was 1, 6, both of these cells would need to be 2. Both of these cells here, which is impossible. So in fact, this is a 3, 4. Let's put that in, which means this is an 8. Okay, a quick scrutinizing, a quick bit of scrutiny on the grid. Yeah, we can see that there's a 7 already in column 7, and we can see there's a 7 in column 9. That means there has to be a 7 in the final 3x3 three three box here. Obviously can't go in the 5, so it must go here. Let's put that in. And another interesting bit of logic, I suppose, we could apply to, to column 8. Uh, we, we know there needs to be a 5 here, which is either going to be a 1, 4, or a 2, 3. Therefore, we can say with certainty that this 5 will contain exactly one of the digits 1, 2. Now, if that's the case, we can say again that looking at these two cells here, it's not possible that these don't contain exactly one of the digits one and two, um, because otherwise we've got we've got too many ones and twos in the column, um, and therefore the other digit here will have to be the 6 because it's only a choice of a 1, 2 or a 6. So if the 6 in column 8 is in the top box, it can't be in the middle box. Um, so we would need to re remove, we can say that this is an 8 and this is a 6. And this cell here cannot contain a 6. And that's very helpful looking now at column 7 again uh, because we've still got to place a 4 and an 8. Uh, in this column, in these two cells. In the 19, therefore, we can see we already have a 7. We need these two cells to add up to, to 12. So they must be the 4, 8 alternative there. And that means that this cell here must be a 2. That means that's a 3. Uh, and now the bottom right box is actually fixed because um, if, if we just go through very quickly the possibilities for how this 12 might work, we can see that if it was this bottom cell was a 6, the only way of making these two cells add up to 6 would be that would be valid would be with a 1 and a 5, which would make these 2 and a 3. If on the other hand this was a 5, and we would need these two cells here to add up to 7. But we would have to do that with a 1 and a 6, because we can't make it a 3 and a 4, because the 4 is already taken. We can't make it a 2 and a 5, because the 5 would have been taken. So however we, however we analyze this bottom cell, we end up with this 12 containing a 1, a 5, and a 6. And if it contains a 1 and a 5 and a 6, 
this 5 here has to be the 2, 3. Which allows us to say with certainty that this cell is a 3. And this cell is a 2. And using similar logic to that which we've already applied, looking at this 12 box, we can see it can't obviously be 3, 9 because there's already a 3 in, in, in the row. Um, and there's already a 4, 8 here. So it can't be 4, 8 either. So this box has to be 5, 7 in some order. And that limits some of the possibilities, uh, both in this cell and also in this cell. And then a quick uh, bit of scrutiny at column 1, um, which is very unusual in these puzzles in the sense that it, it's made up entirely of just two boxes. And looking at the top box here, we, we've got five cells and we need to, add to make it up to 17. And the one option for the top left is eight. Well, you can hopefully see that if you you can't make nine with four cells, the, the lowest number you could make with four cells is ten, one, two, three, and four. So this, in fact, is fixed at seven, uh, and therefore this must be an eight. And if, as this is seven, the remaining four cells here are the, are the one, two, and the three, and the four. I just noticed that I should have filled in these two as well. Um, okay, two and three. And we can actually use this quite restricted um, set of cells at the bottom, being the 17 in 3 and the 19. Well, it's a 19 in 3, but it's actually become a 12 in 2. There are two ways, obviously, that, that this 8 and the 4 can unwind themselves. Let's imagine, for a start, that this is an 8. This is an 8, this will be a 4, and this will be an 8. So we'd have two 8s here and here. We would need to fill this 17 with a 9 in these two cells. Yeah, so to, in order that the 8 we got here plus the 9 equal the 17. But that's impossible now because we can't have a 1 8 because we've already got an 8. We can't have a 2 7 because there's a 2 here. We can't have a 3 6. And we can't have a 4 5 because of this 5 at the top of the column. So in fact, we now know this, this must be a 4. And this must be like so. And now we know that these two cells here have to add up to 13. But the only possibility left here is if that's a 6, 7. So let's fill that in. Like so that removes the possibility of this being 6. Now that we've fixed the 4 here, this must be a 3. Okay, like so, which means that we actually have to have 1, 2, 8 in these three cells. And again, now we have 1, 2, 8 locked in this central 3 by 3 boxes, the most right hand side. We can see the 24 here uh, was made up of the 1, 2, 8, which adds up to 11. So these two cells have, have to add up to 13. They can't be 5, 8, because we already, already have an 8 in the box. They can't be 4, 9, because we have, already have 4 in the column. So these also must be 6, 7 in some order. Which means this can't be a 6. Now it's just right worth noting and using our, our 45 principle again. We've, we've had to use it very little so far in this puzzle, which is quite unusual in these deadlies. Um, but if we look at the central column now, column 5, um, we have 17 in these three cells definite and we have 21 in the bottom four cells for definite so that's 38 um, and we know so we know that these two cells have to add up to seven with this only having a one two and a possibility so this this is five and a six in some order um, 
and it can't be a 6 because we already have the 6 in the column so in fact this central cell is forced to be 5 by this logic and this is a 2 and this can't be a 2 and that forces a variety of things over on, on the right hand side here 5 there, 4 here this can't be a 4 And this bottom cell is forced to be 9 now, which means this is forced to be 6, and this is forced to be 5. And just by filling in forced cells, uh, row 8 becomes this. Um, and again, this means that this cell here must in fact be the 8, but it can't be the 9 because we already have a 9 in the box. This is a nine. This is a five, and the puzzles the puzzles broke now, broken now in the sense that it's 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 just going to collapse. The rest of it is just going to be an exercise for the reader in how quickly um, you can you can get the answers in because um, there's no there's no difficult steps to the logic remaining. It's, it's simply a filling exercise, and in fact, the best setters or best best solvers in the world do this remarkably quickly. Um, so from here, it would be less than a minute to fill fill the rest of it. Um, whereas I think um, even even some reasonable solvers will take longer than that. But I'll, I'll show the show the completed solution now, along to music, and I hope this has been helpful. Quite an interesting killer, I thought. You know. Um, uh, some quite linear logic steps at the start which 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 really broke it open um, but maybe you found a quicker way of doing it I'd be interested to know if so and um, please leave some comments thanks very much